Here we are in Unity with a new project. For this lesson, we are going to be working with simple polygon assets to build our scenes. I've already imported the package, but you'll do so with a link in the next activity and explore all that it has to offer. In this example, I'm going to demonstrate the power of prefabs. Let's start by grabbing a rock and making a ground out of it. In each folder, you'll see two files, the mesh model and the prefab. You'll want to use the prefab file. So let's drag this rock to the screen and center it at 0, 0. To make it a ground, I'm going to decrease its Y scale and then increase the X and Z scales. The last thing I'm going to do is give it color. So I'm going to create a new material in the materials folder. and then drag it to the ground. To show you the power of prefabs, I'm going to grab another rock and drag multiple of them into our scene. And let's adjust them so they are sitting on the ground. The awesome thing about using a prefab instead of just copying an object is that all of the rocks I just added are still linked to the prefab. So if I click on one of them, go to the prefab menu, and click select, it opens up the linked prefab. Now watch what happens when I change the settings here. All of the linked game objects automatically adjust. This makes it so easy to control groups of game objects that you want to share properties. Of course, you can still edit an individual rock by clicking on one, then changing the settings here. You'll notice that only that rock changed. I can also create another new material, give it a color, and apply it to one single rock. As you design your scene, you're going to be using these prefabs. There will be times when you want to adjust all at once, and other times where you'll want to adjust only one at a time. Of course, there's even more you can do with prefabs, including creating prefab variants, which is an offshoot of the main prefab. But that's for another lesson, or you can research that on your own. 